Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on data table. Uh, it gives the sales and profit of five, uh, no, some seven top uh, FMCG companies in the years 21 and 2020. So they have given the sales and profits for the year 2021. And it is also given the percentage change from 2020. Okay. So positive change denotes increase in sales or profit and the negative value denotes decrease. Okay. So minus 7.5 means there's a decrease of 7.5%. Okay. Minus 10% means decrease of 10% from previous year, from 2020. Right. So we do not need to calculate each and every value. Right. Whatever is asked in the questions, we'll calculate those and answer the questions. And it is also also given that expenses is sales minus profit okay so let us now solve these questions so first question says two of the given companies had the same sales in 2020 what is the difference between their profits in 2020 okay so we have to find first we'll have to find those two companies right so as i said we do not uh, need to calculate all these values we can just see and find those companies see itc and hul have very high sales okay even if their uh, percentages are different they can never be equal to anything else right any uh, two companies now if you look at britannia britannia 12 percent increase makes it 8960 so we can say that it is 8000 right 8000 because uh, it is 960 increase which is 12 percent right so it had 8000 there now this is more than 10,000. Now this is 6% less than 750, 6% uh, less and it is 7520. So if you see this, this also should be 8000 because 8000, 6% is 480. If you subtract 480, we get 7520. So the two companies are Britannia and Dabur. Okay. And it is given that there are only two such companies. And of course, uh, if you look at these, this will be 5500. This is 5000, right? So these are the two companies that had the same sales in 2020. So you have to find the difference between their profits in 2020. So profit of this will be, now there is 8% increase, right? 8% increase means 108%. Okay. So 837 is 108%. So that means previous year. And this is 25 and 27 so 3 and 1 31 into 25 30 into 25 is 750 plus 25 775 okay so this is 775 increase of 8 percent and this is 10 percent decrease so this must be 1100 okay 1100 90 percent is 990 so you have to find the difference so 1100 minus 775 the answer is 325 crores. Next question. The expenses of ITC in 2021 were what percent more than the expenses of HUL in the same year? So 2021 is an easy thing because we are already given the values. So expenses of ITC. Okay, now if you see the options, this is like 64, 72, 78, 69 or 70. Right, so we can just approximate the values and get this. So this is 605 minus 101, approximately 504, okay. And if you look at this 342 minus 45, that is 297, okay. So roughly you can say that 300, right. And uh, like if we increase by 1%, it will be uh, like 500 and nine. okay. So if we are increasing this value by percent, increase this value by 1%, right. So the answer should be, it is saying what is the how much percent more right so if we can calculate this is 209 by 300 that is roughly 70 percent or 69.67 percent right so we get we get a very very close answer that will be the answer so this is how we can approximate values right so if it is 504 by 297 so instead of dividing by 297 we can divide by 300 so we increase this value by one percent so increasing this by 1% would mean that we need this percentage and you saw that we got correct to one decimal digit. Okay. Now the next question is if the companies are ranked on the basis of sales, what was the cumulative profit of top three companies? Uh, uh, to top three companies in 2020. Okay. So they are ranked on the basis of sales. So profit of top three companies. Right. So in 2020. 
okay in 2020 itc will be one of the top 3 second will be hul another company now if you look at patanjali right in 2021 patanjali is this but their increase is drastic right 110% increase so that means they were at 5000 okay so patanjali is not the top 3 company right so do not make this mistake here because their sale has increased 110% but we have to consider the third top third in 2020 okay so if you look at this this is 8000 this is more than 10000 Okay, so this should be the third company. Right? No need to calculate. We can just tell that is more than ten thousand. Okay, so we have to find the cumulative profit of these three companies. Okay, so this is ten one two zero. That is fifteen percent increase. So its profit in two thousand twenty will be this twenty three into four is ninety two. Nine. And this, this, eighty-eight hundred. So this is eighty-eight hundred. Okay, this company seven point five percent less, so it will be thousand. Clearly visible. This is twelve point five. That is one eighth increase, right? So this would be four thousand. Okay, this we can directly do because one eighth we know uh, is five hundred of uh, like. 1 by 8 increase means 9 by 8 times so take 8 by 9 times that you can calculate mentally okay right? so we just need to add these three values so uh, 88 plus 40 128 138 138 hundred okay so it is asking in crores of rupees so that is the answer to this next question the expenses of britannica increased by what percent from 2020 to 2021 right so we have to find britannia Ex increase in expenses, right? So Britannia here it is eight nine six zero minus eight thirty seven, right? So we'll find expense this eight nine six zero minus eight thirty seven, that is equal to eight one two three, and last year it was eight thousand minus seven seven five. So it's good that we calculated in one of the previous questions. That is seven two two five. Okay. So the increases it is saying that expense increased by what percent? Increase is approximately nine hundred, right? Roughly nine hundred seventy two hundred to this, and upon seventy two hundred two five, right? A rough calculation. So can we say it is roughly one by eight? Right, roughly one by eight. So one by eight is twelve point five percent. Okay, so the closest value is this. So you can calculate also. No need to calculate the exact value, but if you know these fractions, right, you can approximate the value. So the right answer would be twelve point four three percent. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.